So for problem number one out of your textbook, it says write the volume V of a cube as a function of its side length. So we've got a cube, and uh, by definition, a cube is just a, a square rectangular prism where the base is a square. And so the side lengths are S. So the, the length, the width, and the height are S. So the volume is usually of a rectangular prism, the length times the width times the height, and on a cube it's just S times S times S. So part B wants us to find the rate of change of volume with respect to S, or dV dS. Well, that's just going to be 3S squared. Part C says, evaluate the rate of change at S equals 1 and the rate of change at S equals 5. So I'm just going to take V prime, and which is 3S squared, and I'm going to evaluate V prime of 1, which is 3 times 1 squared. And then I'm going to evaluate V prime of 5, which is 3 times 5 squared. And so this becomes 3, and 5 squared is 25 times 3 is 75. Okay. Part D says, if S is measured in inches, the volume is measured in cubic inches, what units would be appropriate for the change in volume? For dV dS. Well, what is the volume in? Inches cubed, right? What is the what is the side length measured in? Uh, inches. Inches. So what's inches cubed over inches? Inches squared. That's pretty much it. Any questions? Do you have questions? Does anyone have questions?